This is John with Archer Fish. What's up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. I am back at Lake Kachuma, and this is one of the reasons why I love this lake. It is empty. So, uh, great conditions. A little overcast. It's a little cool. Um, I got a few things this morning. One, I'm, I'm kind of out here fishing. It could be my last time for many, many months because of my messed up shoulder. I'm kind of out here as a last hurrah and also just to see if I can do this, if I can cast and do things like that and uh, you know, not ruin my shoulder completely. So we're gonna try a few new things today. Also, I have a very special guest on the boat and that is Chloe. What's up everybody, this is John with Archer Fish. It's not John, that's Chloe. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, first fish of the day on the jerk bait. Just got here, it was like my third cast. Not a bad fish. Water's very warm. Little dude, but nice start. Beaver time. All right. <laughs> Oh, got one on the beaver. I don't think it's that big of a fish, but as soon as it hit the water, it's not bad actually. Not a, oh, it's a smallmouth. Oh, he just, look at the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but he just threw up a big oh, fish that he ate. Beaver fish. All right. Small mouth on the beef. Tell when there's a fish on it. I was just about to like walk you through it. Still got him? Barely hooked. Little guy. Thanks, buddy. Oh, this feels good. Oh, fuck, this feels really good. Oh my god. Oh, this is huge. Holy crap. Oh my god. This thing feels huge. Unless I'm wrapped on something. I think he does have me wrapped. Come on, no way. I feel like I'm I'm on something. I can't tell if it's a big fish or it's he's just got me wrapped on something. And, and just brace yourself. So I can't tell if this is a huge fish or he, and he has me wrapped. It's really hard to tell. I mean, look at that. I mean, this is crazy, man. This is a... Uh, Oh, it's a huge bass. Oh, my God. oh he's, 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 <laughs> that's why he's hooked. He's like foul hooked. All right, he's not here. Gorgeous fish. Someone else broke off on him. Someone else is hooked out. What a beauty. Oh, look, look at the other one. Did you see that? Yeah. He's like trying to eat him. 
He's trying to eat the bait out of his mouth. It's a wow. That's cool, huh? All right, I just put this fluke on, tossed it over here, and a nice sized fish grabbed it from the surface, but then it got me wrapped on a tree and uh, broke off. So I'm gonna try it again, that was pretty cool. Leave it on, leave it on. Leave it on. You weren't recording? You're the worst fishing partner. Got another one. Told you this point is magical. It's for next minute. There's one. Oh, good one. It's a good fish. Water, damn it. Ooh. Took off. There you go. <laughs> he just saw the boat. It's like he was barely fighting. And then he saw the boat and was like, Help. What? Oh my god, it's not even hooked. He's gonna get away. He's gonna get away. Monster. No wonder it was like fighting weird. Look at this crappie, man. What a monster. Just the crappie in this lake are huge. All right, buddy. Could be some beaver water back there. Yeah. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh, he let go. It's just a little one. But it was the one that was eating the flies. Oh, man. So this is what I'm just nose hooking the fluke. And I've gotten some pretty good hits on it today, which is cool. Let's see if I can get this guy to commit to it again. It's pretty good. This type of uh, landscape is typically better for the bigger fish. It's good. Saw the boat and woke up. Not bad. Thanks, Recording dude. Here. Thanks, little guy. Thank you. Shall I turn on the camera? Oh, it's a good one. All right, I hope they got that on one of the cameras. So that was, I just kind of threw in while I was getting my stuff together and I ended up catching the biggest fish of the day, maybe even the biggest fish in the last few weeks. Um, but I didn't think it was big. And so I was kind of horsing it in. And then when I saw that it was a good sized fish, he went for a run at the boat, realized he was hooked and snapped me off. It was easily five pounds or more. Um, looked maybe like closer to five pounds, but man, gotta pay attention, I guess. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I lost that fish, not out of anything that I did wrong, but because Chloe brought a banana on the boat earlier. I didn't know. She brought a banana and she ate half of it even. You all know that you don't bring a banana on the boat. We all know that. We all except for me. Now I know, now I know. She's never coming with me again. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Not bad, I was just trying to catch one more fish and I succeeded. So we caught the, I'm gonna show you how I rigged the Senko. 
All right, since everyone asked me how I rigged the Senko, this is it. Eight pound fluorocarbon, four or six pound mosquito hook. I prefer the owner ones. I wacky rig it with a little O-ring and I like the green pumpkin black flake Senko Yamamoto brand. That's it, very, very simple. The key though is when you're fishing, like for instance, we got the wind going this way. You don't wanna cast behind you where the wind is because it's gonna pick up the line and your Senko is gonna pendulum or just be dragged in the water. But this way, you know, there's a little bit of slack and which allows the Senko to, to sink straight down and do its little shimmy the way it's supposed to go. So that is it. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. And I've been getting some of my bites on the fall and some of the bites after it hits bottom, I give it a little boom, boom, one of these little numbers. And then that's how I've been catching all my Senko fish today. Caught him on the Senko, caught him on the jerk bait, caught him on the beaver. What else did I throw? Caught him on the jig. Uh, pretty much everything that I threw, I caught a fish on. Um, yeah, so again, Kachuma is one of the best lakes around. You can catch fish here. I caught a couple decent ones. Um, not, no huge ones, no great size. So that's the only drawback about this lake, but it's beautiful. There's hardly anyone here ever. And uh, there's tons of fish and they're all hungry. Chloe, thank you so much for coming with me. There she is. All right, thank you for watching everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.